you've got some money in your pocket and you want to buy something like a cap or a dress or a book, so what will you say? You're going to say, how much is this? So he's going to tell you what? 10, 5, 6, 7, Oman real. Very good, excellent. So we take this to here. And for the last three questions, what is it? What do you think the answer is? Hussam, what do you think? Maad, nothing. I'm just scared. Excellent, correct. Very good. Yeah, we've got only two questions left. Which book do you prefer, Arabic or English book? Huh? Hussam, what do you say? Maad, over there, what do you say? Okay, very good. Mm, English book. Correct. Nice. And the last question is very simple and yeah, it's very obvious. Where do you live? Masqat. Excellent. Now let's check let's check your work together, shall we? Wow, you've got all of those questions correct. That is amazing. Nice. Let's go. back again. You know, uh, students, you're wondering why did I give you was off and because of this COVID-19 uh, I know that we've got some I'm going to show you today a strategy uh, according to my experience uh, back school to text easily so what they do Salma, Maad, do you need some kind of clarification? Very good. Now I'm going to teach you how to answer those comprehensive questions co correct. Right, now this text is taken from the story of the Prophet Yus Yusuf, peace be upon him, part 5, page 4, class book. Who can read this uh, text? Uh huh, Maad. Very good, excellent. The following day, a trading caravan was looking for water in the well. They didn't find any water, but they rescued Yusuf, peace be upon him. They took him to Egypt and sold him as a slave to a noble man who was the Aziz of Egypt. The Aziz and his wife looked after the prophet Yusuf, peace be upon him, like their own child. However, the Aziz wife complained that Yusuf, peace be upon him, was behaving badly towards her. She was stealing lies, but the Aziz sent Yusuf, peace be upon him, to prison. Right, so look at this text. We've got some written questions. How many questions do we have, Hussam? Salma, how many questions? Four questions. Good. Now, I feel like you've got some kind of ambiguity in your minds, yeah? How can we answer this question? Is it difficult? Uh, no, no, no. Just focus on what I'm going to tell you, and I know that all of you guys will do the best. You will get all of those questions correct for sure. Yeah, so what you have to do, this is the strategy that I'd like to teach you about. Look at the last two words. Looking for, looking for. Just bear to your mind the helping verb that we're having here was. Okay, so this is 
this is like I'm solving a puzzle for you people. Very simple. Looking for, you have to find it in the text. This is what you have to do. Nothing else. Remember, the question starts with WH question, what? Okay? So looking for, where is looking for here? This one. Very good. Thank you so much. Now, the answer is right after this phrase. That's it. The end of the story. So if we go together to the text, Hussam Ma'al Salma, yes. So what do you think the answer is? Looking for excellent water. This is the correct answer. Very simple, yes? Salma, very simple. Thank you. Did you like it? Yeah, very good. Let's move to the second one. Let's apply the same strategy. Where, so we're talking here about a place. We're talking here about a place. Did they take? Be careful. We've got did. This is a helping verb that's happened in the past or in the present. Hussam, what do you say? Past. Very good. Ma'ad. Excellent, Salma. Nice. Thank you so much. So this is like a trick. What you have to do is to shift this main verb take to the bust. What is the bust of take? Huh? Salma took. Excellent. Thank you so much. So this is took. Very good. Your job is to do what? Again, apply the same strategy. Look for the word took. Where is the word took in the, in the text? Very simple. This one. Excellent. That's it. So the answer is right after this verb. What is the answer? Since we're talking about a place where, so there is only one word here, to Egypt. Excellent. Thank you so much. Egypt is a country. So it's a place. Very nice. Did you like this? Do you feel like you are about to get it right? Very good. Let's continue. Yeah? So you've got question number three. Question number three said, who complained that Yusuf, peace be upon him, was behaving badly? Who complained? So what, what, what are we going to do here? Who can tell me this time? Hussam? Complained. Very, very good. And Salma? Who? Oh, excellent. What is the purpose of having who here? To know that the answer is about a name of a person. Correct. Or his job. Okay. Was behaving badly. Okay, let's find all of those words together in this reading text. Where, is, where are those words? So, behaving badly. Where is behaving badly? Here it is. Excellent. And we're talking about who, yeah? So, what do you think the answer is? Who complained? The eyes. Why, example, some of you guys have got no idea what does it mean in Arabic. Should we know the meaning of this word in Arabic now? We don't. So it's very simple. You apply the strategy, you find the answer correct, and that's all. Right. Let's go to question number four. Who can read it for me? Yes, Salma? Mm -hmm. Nice. Where did Aziz send Yusuf Bisbi Abu Nham to? So you've got dead again. This is a bust or helping verb did. So we have to really care about the main verb send. Shift it into the past. Excellent. What is the past tense or sorry symbol for the main verb send? Who can tell? Ma'ad. Sent. Excellent. Thank you so much. Very good. Very easy job. Now let's go to reading text and find the word sent. Where is it? Who can tell me? Excellent, in the last line of this text. This is sent. 
Very good. So where did Aziz send Yusuf to? To? So the answer is right after this one, which is brazen. Excellent. Very good. See, do I have to know every single meaning of all of those words in a text? No. Excellent. Good. Should I know the meaning of the question in Arabic? Excellent. Did you like the strategy? Well, well done. Good. Now, I know some of you guys are going to tell me, well, teacher, at final exams, we don't have such a thing. Are you sure? I have got an evidence for this one. Look, and you can check it out yourself. So we've got this, for example, this uh, reading text from 2015-2016 final exam of Dahira Governor Rate right, second session. You can check it out yourself, right? Now here it is. We've got here a text and some lovely questions below it. Are you ready to answer all of those questions correct? Very good. Let's apply what we have already learned, how to answer those questions correct without understanding the question or what is really happening in the reading text. Okay, good. Selma, are you with me? Maad, Hussam, are we good? Nice. Let's apply now. The first one, for example, just to bear to your mind first. When it comes to final exam, never read the whole text first and then go to the questions. That is incorrect. The first thing that you have to do is to read the first question and then go back to the text to find the answer. Okay? So let's go to question number one. When did the tourist visit the resort? Let's apply. So you've got helping verb here did, that is in the past, and you've got when, so we're talking about meta. Good, thank you, Hussam. Visit, what should we do here, guys? Salma? Very good, shift this visit to the past simple tense. What is the past simple tense of visit? Visited. Correct. Good. Right. So now it's very simple. You've got when, which is meta. We're talking about a particular time here. And then you've got visit. Just go back to the text and find the word uh, visit. Just like that, visited. So we're a group of tourists of uh, what's the blah, last Monday, 17th August. We visited. We found the word visited together. Correct, Hussam? Nice, thank you so much. Are we talking about time here? Excellent, Salma, thank you so much. Right, what is the time here? Any time or can, who can just uh, read the time for me here? Last Monday, 17th of August. That is correct. How was the question? Difficult or easy? Yes, it is very easy. Just like a piece of cake. You have got nothing to worry about. Right, let's apply this one to question number two. Okay. Just bear to your mind, all of those questions, I've got them from the same text and final exam. Check them out, okay? So how long did they stay in London? So we're talking about how long. So how long, is it a week or is it two weeks or is it one month or is it a month? Uh, final exams, you cannot apply the questions correct. Like 70% of questions. Salma, are we good? Nice. So how long did they stay? Very simple. You look at this one. Visited your resort as a part of our 10-day ten, ten tour to, to London. So we've got 10 day. You're going to tell me this is, you cannot apply such strategy in this one. I know. So we're talking about 70 percent you can apply. At least you get four out of six or five out of six in final exams very easily. Right. Let's go to question number three. How much did they pay? Again, you have to focus for the bust. Yeah, for, for the helping verb, dead. So you have to shift the main verb, excellent, thank you so much, to what? Mad, bust, symbol. Well done. Right. What is the bust symbol of stay? Stayed. Thank you so much. So this is stayed. Right. Now try to find the answer, or uh, this word, stayed. Okay, so we're sorry that to start with business, he has to understand what he was whatsoever. 
Uh, what is this one state? To start with, the guide was impolite and he spoke so quietly the most couldn't hear. But besides using lots of difficult words, it was hard to understand what he was saying. He was timbered. Right? Another problem was the prices. Right? Everything, here the answer is, yes, Hussam, very good. Everything was too expensive and didn't match the prices on the advertisement. For example, we had to, to, to pay 100 per person at the entrance, but it was only $75 on the advertisement. So, sorry, there is like a, a mistake here. Bay. Right, so how much did they pay for the entering the resort? For the entrance? How much? Excellent. $100. Excellent. Good. Number four, what was the problem with the cafe? Very simple, guys. Hussam, what, what are we going to do? To look for the word cafe. Excellent. Very good. This is cafe. Look for it. Where is the word cafe? Excellent. This one. Good. Right. So again, the answer is right after the word. What is after the word which was too crowded? So this is a problem. And smelly. Nice. Thank you so much. See, do we have to know the meaning of the word crowded and smelly here? We have. But in terms of final exams, for example, when it comes to final exam, you have to have correct answer. So crowded and smelly, yes, is the correct answer. Crowded, it means, yeah, full of traffic, lots of people in the same place. And smelly, uh, yuk, smelly, bad, for example, whatsoever. Right. And then going to number five, what did the tourists buy for, from the resort? Again, you are going to do the same. Yes, Selma, did. Shift the verb. Very good. What is the, the boss symbol of the word, or sorry, main ver verb, buy? It's boat. Very good. Right. So, boat. So, you're, gonna, you're going to find this word, yeah? So, anything when the buying, see? This word, buying, boat, buy, they, they are the same, but they are different in the context. So buying some very expensive boasters. Very good. So the answer again is right after the, the main verb. Going to number six, how did the tourists feel at the end of the visit? Again, you have to do the same thing. You've got did, shift this feel to the past symbol. So we say felt, but sometimes let's go. Uh, I'm gonna show you something. See, have a look to this one. Have made us, Hassan. Excellent. So made, made, very good, Hussam. Made is by symbol and then asked and there is this word feel which is, or sorry, which matches this one. So you don't have to really worry about, worry about the answer is right after the verb feel depressed. Very good. Are we good? Nice. How did you find the strategy? Good or bad? Some of you like it, yeah? Please just go back again to this thing because you're going to like it so much. And when it comes to final exam, you will do very good work. Believe me. Right. Now, uh, let's have some kind of...